There we go. It's working now. Yay. God, Procaster is like the worst thing ever made by man. Oh, well. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Roleplay. Let's Roleplay. Yay. Yay. I'm Duhod. That's Yay. Rydell. And hey. I'm Harold Watson. Oh, no, I'm waiting for, for Rydell to say something so people can hey. associate his voice. There you go. That's Harold Watson. Hey. Now you say something, hair. Hi, oh, children. Here is finally joining us, GMI24. Hello. And, uh, of course, Windsor. Winner or Nero Brony. I prefer you check out the Nero Brony channel, but I can also be referred to as Winner 100 or Snappy, as these guys seem to like to call me. Fair enough. So, Nero uh, Brony. He is a snappy, snappy squirrel. He is... Hello, friends. My name is Nero. Wait, Miro or Nero? Nero, N-E-R-O. Oh, uh, okay. I was going to say, like, I, I know an Australian guy named he Nero. He is Caligula. Yeah. <laughs> I would say no, 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 not even body. Caligula. That's like, the guy I after I am every man as I am no man, and therefore I am a god. Uh, well, Nero, Nero was after would... Caligula and Claudius. I would yeah, say I something here, but it could be conceived as racist, so. Ah, uh, that's fair enough. Oh, you wanna say anything, yeah, don't anything say it then. Racially insensitive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Unless it's the, against Klingons, or the French. It's okay. Anyway, we have long-standing traditions about that. So anyway, so we're back to the game. G money. As you were not here last time, uh, we're going to actually probably start with you in just a second. But first, why don't you give us a rundown of your character? All right, hold on. I forgot to pull it up in all that time. I was being stupid. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So you get to run down your character, then I will refresh everyone on the story up to this point, <laughs> and we will open up on you waking up. As soon as you open your character sheet. In the meantime, for anyone, oh, Rydell's uh, internet connection seems to have just pooped. Oh, oh no! Okay, the. Uh, God damn it! So, uh, <laughs> two, two people just dropped uh, briefly, uh, or not so briefly, as Rydell seems to still be having trouble reconnecting. Yeah, mine there he goes. got that. That contest. wasn't the best introduction to an RP. That's fine. It's fine. G money. All right. Character. All right. All right. I so hate um. Much. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> it, that's the description of his typing. character. Typing sounds. Okay. All right. Um, well, while you read the character, I'll actually uh, just quickly refresh people on the story up to this point, in that case. So, uh, as the story began, our you know, protagonist, a group of ponies from the My Little Pony version of Equestria from the show, uh, woke up you know, in a strange metallic facility in odd tube-shaped uh, cylinders. When they got out of these cylinders, they found other ponies also... Uh, you know, sleeping in these things. They then... Snappy killed one. Oh, yeah. After Snappy murdered uh, one of the uh, the cylinders and set up a bunch of alarms... It was an accident. Unlike every other time. Yeah. Like Thanks, this time, Snappy. Accident. That one time. Excuse me. Well, hey, that's my line! Excuse anyway, me. after they okay. accidentally killed someone, uh, Rydell went off to go explore in one direction down one corridor... As uh, Hare and Snappy went down the, or near Brownie, sorry, uh, went down the other uh, direction on the cor of the corridor to find a large, strange room with what appears to be a computer. Meanwhile, Rydell passed through a room filled with strange uh, things that looked kind Breweries. of like, yeah, that looked kind of like the stills at a brewery. Uh, before finding a door leading into another area, which we cut away from shortly before the game ended last week, rather abruptly. Uh, G Money, is, yeah. I assume you have your character ready? Yeah, I do. Okay, um, so your character is? Uh, his name is Dr. G. He's midnight blue with a black spiky mane, and he has a lab coat. Um, of course, why not? Um, his cutie mark is a stethoscope, which doesn't really matter that much. And um, any any minor details about him? Uh, he's a little reckless, and he has a limp. But um, yeah, that's about all that matters. Is he a unicorn or? Oh, oh yeah, he's a unicorn. Yeah, that's important. 
That yeah, would uh, that would be good to know. Yeah. It's really difficult to do surgery without horns. Yes. That's what I said. Not mouth horns. surgery. It's difficult but doable. You gotta, so you gotta <clears> be <throat> horny when you're doing surgery. Oh jeez. Yes. So yes. Uh, So anyway, Doctor G, uh, you know, you fell asleep in your home in Equestria after you know a rather pleasant day, and now find yourself waking up in a cramped, confined space. There's almost no light except that coming through a uh, the cracks around a square uh, area of the uh, darkness above you. That light is flickering, and for some reason it's flickering red, and, uh, flickering red occasionally. There's also a very loud, the slightly muffled sound coming from above you. Oh god, where am I? What is this crap? <laughs> this is definitely not my this is not my house, I guess. You are fairly certain that you did not What's in fact install uh This is any not of my these beautiful house. house. <laughs> this is not my Ferrari. <laughs> Sorry. Uh okay, so yeah, what 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 do you want to do? Uh I decide to try to push on my enclosure. Okay, it is kind of held in place fairly securely, but you manage to push it up, and as you do so, it also kind of slides outwards on a metal rail, uh, which unfortunately makes the noise a lot louder as you are now no longer have uh, that nice big metal door in between you and these screeching alarms. Uh, you are okay. now in a room <laughs> Yeah. You're all snappy. Uh, you are now in a room that, in a slightly dim room with red flashing lights and warning sirens. All around you are similar tubes to the one that you were just laying in, as well as you know a few of them have been opened, and one of them has been smashed open uh, with what appears to be a dead pony in the uh, inside it. Oh God! Oh God! What the hell is that? Is that a dead pony? I'm gonna avoid that. Is there? Let's see. Is there any doors or shit in here I can get out with? There is. There is an open door on the far side of the room from where you are. There's a closed door as well, uh, but the open door uh, looks a lot more inviting, as it is not something you have to pry open. Uh, I run towards the open door because I don't feel like being in this alarm anymore. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, when you enter into this next uh, hallway, you actually see that there are a number of small doors uh, lying both sides, but there are two doors on either end, both of which have been pried open in the same manner as the one that you just went through. Uh, to the left, you can just faintly hear the sounds of ponies talking. To the right, you hear nothing. Hmm. Not sure what just happened. Yeah, and behind you, of course, is still alarms and, you know, flashing right. lights. There are There's a flashing warning light above you now, but the alarms don't seem to be set up in a way where they're constantly blaring through the hall. Or at least they're not uh, directly overhead like they were in the last room. So it's slightly less headache-inducing. All right, well, I'm less likely to have a seizure now. I'm going to go... Let's see. I'm trying to think which way was the right way. Um, uh, gonna... Yeah, again, left was where there was other ponies talking, right was the direction where there is silence. I'm gonna go take a left. Okay. Uh, so in that case, you will be meeting up with Snappy and Herr Wutzig, uh over in the room with the computer. Uh, hey and... guys, am I late to the party? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you two see as the uh, as the large screen starts to flicker to life, a strange unicorn uh, enters in behind you, you know, looking kind of like he just woke up and is like, "Ah, oh, hey guys, am I late to the party?" Uh, kinda. I hope you brought the streamers. You know, I didn't put it in well, with like my scalpel. Stream? My bad. Wait, I can make wait, streamers why do you have a scalpel if you want it? to? Well, uh, you know, no. It's a it's a useful tool when you're not murdering people, apparently. Sure, and I'm... murdering people. Who do you want me to kill? <laughs> no, no. I see. Uh, I I patch people up. Actually, 
I've heard some stories about you. Uh oh. This ought to be ah. interesting. You heard the one about the ice cream cone, did you? Yeah, that was. I've never seen that. <laughs> Wait, what's this about the ice cream cone? Did you know it's really hard to remove you one from? You were there in the jury on that trial. Oh, forget it. You obviously don't remember. Yeah, he he hit his head pretty hard was, after. It was that one time where I, it was I stabbed that ice cream man with the cone and. I thought he had died, but it turns out he had lived and dragged himself to a hospital. Yeah. What? Oh my god, you did that? Yeah, it was awful. Normally, I mean, when you stab someone in the face, they die. That's the thing. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I would say I so. Wasn't, I Can wasn't we concentrate on this random thing here that I just pushed the button about? Yeah, as you guys are are are, are discussing ice cream based murder, uh, you see that some of the dim lights are starting to glow to brighter light, and uh, at that same moment, uh, Rydell, you over in the other room, just having pushed through the door you were trying to get through, uh, find that the darkness beyond is actually now illuminated, as a number of lights uh, start flicking on both from overhead and from a number of consoles. Uh, scattered throughout a very large and open room that you just uh, found your way into. So, sorry, it's just large and open and consoles. Yes. I'm gonna start looking at one of the consoles, see if I can figure anything it out. Uh, the information displayed on them is utterly alien to you. You are not entirely sure if you understand what the lettering is. Uh, they appear to be some form of electronic device. They're clearly uh, charged by either magic or electricity, but you have no idea what the hell they're actually trying to say. All right. Uh, Anything besides the consoles in the room? Uh, well, there's a once again, there's a large door heading out uh, along the way. This time there's only two doors in this room, uh, the one on each end... Uh, and there are also some display panels all along, like, along the walls. But, again, so the, uh, apart from a couple of pictures of, you know, like, with lots and lots of lines that kind of look like blueprints, none of it really makes any sense to you. The two... Actually, some of them look like blueprints. Do any of them look like blueprints of the area I'm in? Do you have the uh, architecture skill? No. Okay, so roll I'm me an intelligence really roll. Obvious. Okay. Yeah, th this would you you probably be able to tell really easily if you had uh, if you had uh, any sort of formal training, but you might be able to figure it out just on your own. I get a seven. Okay, that's my okay. You think you might possibly have an idea of where you might be, but you're not really sure. There's a uh... you kind of like look, look over the thing. And it's like okay, there's if the room right there is the big room with the cylinders but there's another room over there that also looks like it might have cylinders so you, you could probably narrow it down to like maybe three places uh, on the blueprint okay not useful at the moment then and uh, there's two doors in addition to the one I came in no there are two doors in total okay. the one you came in and another one I'm gonna head through the other one okay as you start to go through the other one back with you guys uh, the screen that had been uh, flickering on uh, now finishes, you know, displaying random figures and numbers, and has uh, seemed to have like turned on to a flat black image with a white line going through the center. Well, this is exciting. Uh, the fuck it is. World's most boring say. movie. Uh, what is that? All of you, roll me a quick perception roll. Uh, perception plus notice. Oh me. Yes, all of you in the room with the strange computer device. And I have a cute sense of sight, so I add that to my yes, roll as well, Yes, you may also right? add that, yeah. Okay, so that would be... So, am I rolling a 10, or...? Roll a d10. One which notice... One? Which one is that? That would be the dice... Oh, d10. Oh, the yeah. one that says d10, wow. Yeah, the, the one that says d10. Oh, shit. All right. So three. Wait, right. what is notice exactly? I'm it is a skill. Just... Check your, your, your skills. Notice. Find the skill okay. notice. And, so, your, and your attribute okay, perception. Have, right. You don't okay, have notice. So I I rolled a four. Okay, and then what is uh what do you what uh, what does it come out to when you add your perception and notice? Um, seven. Okay, G money. I have. I guess I don't have note. Do I have notice? Let's see. 
Did, did like only one of you actually take notice? I took notice. Okay, two half the party has notice. I didn't take notice. Well, I don't know why I didn't take notice. I took stealth and everything else. Which oh no, I did take notice. I have one notice. Oh good. Okay, so Plus one notice and then I rolled a ten I... because why not? Oh, oh roll, roll, roll the ten again. All right, let's see what happens. Six. Okay, so add one to... Uh, so you got 11 plus one for notice, and what's your perception? Perception... Uh, oh, I... Ah, I don't crap, think I, I forgot to add perception to mine. Oh, shit. Um, where, where is... Yeah, oh, goes, there it is. Two, plus two. Yeah, yeah mine no. goes to nine when you add perception to it. All right, and uh, Nero? I got with... All in total, I got a total of eight. Okay, so Nero, and it's it's actually minus two because you don't have the skill. So Nero, you don't notice this, uh, but Hair and G Money both see uh, as you uh, as the screen turns on, a camera starts uh, like the light on a camera starts blinking and it turns to uh, you know face all of you. Well, okay, well, this is getting a little disturbing, guys. What's going on? Yeah, well, you had to go Wait, and push what? the button, didn't you? Is there... Well, excuse me, I'm, there was nothing miss... else to do in this stupid room. We could have gone somewhere else. Am I missing something? The... Yeah, you kind of are. The, the, the white something. line starts waving as a voice says, Oh, good, you're awake. Ah! It's oh, big! Gosh. What the hell? <laughs> Kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> The, the, Actually, the, you know, one time I might agree with you, murderer. <laughs> yeah, really, I'll say. I mean, Jesus. What do you want, computer thing of... But, Bibber? I... I didn't do it. Is there I... a problem? Uh, I don't know. We kind of woke up in capsules with no idea where we are, and now I'm lumped with a doctor and a murderer, so I don't know what the hell is going on, and you better damn well believe I'm pretty all over the place. I like how you seem to hold both doctor and murderer with equal contempt. <laughs> that is a... That is a... <laughs> Things he doesn't like. Murderers and doctors. <laughs> well, to be fair, they're they're about equal in terms of just utter, you know, contemptibility. He's well, cool I mean, with the lawyer, though. Well, of What's course. What's funny is that people who are bad who are bad at being murderers become doctors. Anyway, I can't do teach. Yeah, the the computer <laughs> seems teach the, the 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 strange uh, mechan uh, the strange voice seems somewhat put out as uh, you all start you know like screaming and yelling at it. Like, I assume that your problem is that you don't seem to understand the current situation? Um, yes. That's a, that's a bit of an understatement there. I see. What part of all of this is giving you trouble? Um, the everything? Yeah. You're going the to have to narrow it down. I, I can explain be... everything to you, but it would take a while. Okay. All right. So, okay, what did I get from my in bed? Our current location. Excuse what, me. What? Uh, uh, the current location would be a good place to start, considering. I guess. Yeah. You are currently yeah. in the mainframe. What is the mainframe? And the mainframe to what? The mainframe to me. And. That doesn't answer the what. Mainframe. <laughs> well, I. Uh, what the fuck are you then? <laughs> I see this is going to go swimmingly. Where is your commanding officer? Commanding officer? What is this about commanding. a commanding officer? I'm the commanding officer. I mean, I know the, the camera where one's turns body to... is hidden, but I can't go get it for you. I see. God. Hold on, I think someone else is wandering around. Half a second. Uh, right L. As yes. you open up the uh, door, you find yourself looking at a large, uh, another large room, this time full of uh, more panels, but also uh, seats, and a large window looking out over what appears to be the night sky. I'm going to head over to the window okay. and look out at it. 
for some reason, all you can see in front of you is the night sky. There is no, uh, though the whole place doesn't feel like it's being pointed straight upwards, literally everything around you looks like you're staring up through an observatory. So either this place has got some sort of weird gravity thing going on where it's, you're standing sideways on the building, or it must be built over the side of a very, very deep cliff. Maybe on the side of a mountain? That's or we're just in space. Problematic. On the other hand, if I move for a mountain, at least I have some orientation. Is there another door in this room? There is uh, only the way back, though there does appear to be another uh, sec another area with a uh, door that doesn't really look like the other doors. It's smaller and seems to open uh, uh, like the uh, the hole for the door seems to be around the middle, but there's no handles on it at all. And uh, what direction is that face relative to the screen? Uh, that would be over to the like to the side. Uh, also, okay? as you you know start looking around the room, all the lights on the screens begin to uh, light up, and on the largest one, a uh, the screen turns black and a white wavy line appears. And a voice says, "Can I help you?" <laughs> Who's that? I am. Hold on. Do any of you people know where you are? I assume that um, since you're here that you understand that you were the leader of this expedition, but... Um, what expedition? What are you talking about? Okay, obviously there's been some sort of problem. I really use some here. The, 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 uh, yeah, and by the way, you're all hearing this at the same time. Okay. Even though only half of you are hearing, you know, one half of the conversation. Yeah. Damn, did I drink too much ether last night or something? Pro uh, trust me, I'm hearing this too. I don't think you did. <laughs> okay, obviously there's been some sort of mistake. You people are not supposed to be here. Oh, God. No. That's, oh, never, that's, right. never a, that's never a good sentence. Yes, now how do I get home? One would assume you could just leave. How did you get on here in the first place? I have no idea. All I That's my is next question. Up this, then How did I get on here in the first castle. place? Yeah, I mean, whose idea was well, this? I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and then I was here. So, uh, you know how that works? It doesn't. <laughs> that seems incredibly unlikely. You should probably try coming up with a better explanation if you want me to help you. Well, what the hell? We don't know how. Hey, not to observe it there, Mister Observer. Wait, Look. why does it sound like it's talking to somebody? Did one of you guys have a friend or some crap? I am trying to have a conversation with your leader at the same time as I talk with the rest of you. It seems that it's only causing more confusion. Our leader? What the hell is this? Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Wait, hang wait. On. Um, Who are you referring to as my leader? <laughs> okay, obviously this is not going to work out. The sc large screen uh, in the mainframe that you guys, uh, the, the three of you are in, uh, suddenly switches off as uh, the one in the room right else in says, okay, go back down the hallway through the main room uh, down into the hallway to the sleeping area, then go across there and meet with the other three in the mainframe. I'm not going to talk to you until you're all in one place. Yay. Oh, cock, baby. The light then flicks off and turns back on in the room with the three of you. Alright, this should hopefully clear things up. Clear things okay, up. Okay, sir, do you have a name other than Big Computer? <laughs> I do not have a name, no. I will call him George. Would it be fine if I just called you Jim? You can call me whatever you want. I, I don't really That's care. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know who she is. Please elaborate. Um, <laughs> that's, that's she? What, uh, that's what retard's girlfriend over here must have said before she died. Uh, excuse me, but I can just picture I, the computer is now going to assume your character's name is Retard. <laughs> God damn it! Yes, yes. I win. 
<laughs> okay, obviously. All right, so, Jim, what exactly is this exposition? Expedition. You are talking about Inquisition. what kind of mission is this? The exposition is to file not found. File not found. Well, that's perfect. Fuck. That's strange. That shouldn't have happened. Who programmed you? My no. creator was file not found. Gee, you're really helpful today. I'm sorry. This oh. is very strange. You have to run on Windows. Because <laughs> you may have a couple thousand viruses. I am a unique Windows. AI construct. I am not a... You know what? I'm not even going to bother trying to explain it to you. You are obviously all primitives. Excuse well, excuse me. I get it, I get it. You have your own kind of development that was used. You're your own unique program. No, he used Linux. Now, now here's one Look, thing you should tell us. Where are we? They... You are Especially on the ship. how they know these OSs. <laughs> Text-based Wait, did you just say we're on the ship? On yes. a ship. Define you are ship. on a ship. Define ship. Like, you are on ship. an explorer class. Do you mean like... Like ship in the ocean? You mean like a ship in space? Yes. Yes to both of those. Yes to one of them. <laughs> Which one? The Take a guess, space? genius. I'm the going space? to get... Yes. So we're in space. Correct. Well, how, did, how well, the hell did we get into space? On a spaceship. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Magic. How did we get into spaceship to get into space? I don't know. I've been trying to ascertain that from you people. Well, we don't know either, so I guess we'll be at an impasse for that forever. I'm beginning to see that. We should, we should convene on how bad this situation is. Considering the fact that you are obviously so, not supposed you know, to be here, yet have no idea how to get back to wherever you're supposed to have come from, I'd say pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Wait, where did Miguel come well, in? Wait a minute. Wait, can't, can't you just beam us up? Somewhere? I have a theory. <laughs> what? I may have a hypothesis <laughs> on what has happened. Do you know the current state of a quest now? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you mean Earth? No. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> what is the current state of Earth? Yeah. Current state of Earth is, it begins to reel off these long streams of uh, statistical data about chemical composition of air density, pollution okay. levels, heat levels, okay. governmental levels to places mean you've never heard that, of. That literally, I mean, is it destroyed? The, the computer stops reeling off data and pauses and then says, if it was, I wouldn't have to tell, I would be, there'd be a lot more zeros in my calcula, in my uh, analysis. <laughs> Oh, so we have a smart-ass computer today. Fantastic. Well, Look, the fact that you keep talking over us... This guy is playing right to me. Uh, Rydell, do you decide to follow the computer's advice so, you'd be arriving about now? Oh, but I wouldn't. I believe there are some other doors oh. on the way back I didn't go through, so... Fair enough, we'll take care of you real quick then. <laughs> uh, so, you're gonna try out those... The room uh, with the murderer is not exactly my destination. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, you crack open the other doors and find yourself looking into a long, black chute. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It that looks like an elevator useful. shaft. I don't go in there. And start my way back, but checking other doors on the way. Okay, there are no other doors until you get back to the main room, then into the room with all the, uh, you know, weird st uh, still like things there there's the maintenance hall uh, area that you decided not to explore earlier yeah I th think I'm going to take the one that heads away from the computer from the uh, window okay since I figure I said so here if the speakers weren't on they revealed it was a spaceship I'm still thinking it's some like high up observatory 
and that part's hanging over a cliff. <laughs> Good point. In, in that case, yeah, you, uh, you know, find, as you walk through the maintenance halls, you find yourself uh, entering into a large area with huge blue tracts of tanks. land. Yeah, no. <laughs> now, there's like these huge blue tanks uh, that seem to be full of some sort of liquid, uh, blue liquid. There are also uh, large metal struts uh, kind of hanging over top with uh, you know devices holding something in the liquid, though you can't really see it from where you are currently standing. There are walkways are that lead up to those. Are they similar in design to the stills? They are. Uh, they There's a definite aesthetic similarity, though they do appear to be different. And is there any other exit from this room? Uh, there is on the other side. There are also a uh, another series of uh, doors to the left and right. Well, I would check the door that leads away from the window first. Okay. Whichever past that is. Uh, opening up through there, you find another room, almost identical to the one you are currently in. <laughs> another, more rooms each more identical than the last. <laughs> uh, wow. Does it have further doors leading away from the screen? Funnily enough, the almost identical uh, room also has four doors in almost the exact same locations. Uh, I'm going to continue this path. Okay, the third room you enter is actually a bit different. Uh, this one actually looks almost a bit like a lounge. There's some nice chairs and a table and a coffee machine. As well as a, uh, you know, what looks like an electronic calendar. Is the, there coffee in the coffee machine? There is not. <laughs> and is this one, this one I assume would have exits... Yep, you there wouldn't is... make the lounge go through main oh, no. shafts. Yeah, no, no, no. There's a uh, there's an exit with a rather uh, you know comfortable looking uh, doorway, and uh, that actually opens up far easier than some of the other doors you've been opening up to this point. You kind of get the feeling that this uh, yeah this main this uh, lounge room, unlike some of the places you've been going through before, is not considered as heavy duty security. Uh, you know, useful. All right. So I head through that door then. You're actually now in a pretty... Well, it's not exactly nice, but it's nicer than some of the places you've been before. Like, this place looks more like a place that people might actually live in as opposed to work in. Uh, it's still hallways and stuff, but you can actually see, uh, you know, like, kind of side uh, doors and stuff that are actually doors. They're, they're recognizable as, like, uh, kind of synthetic versions of wooden doors and... There, uh, you know, like, as you go along, you can actually see like a kitchen area that's, you know, barren of all food, but looks otherwise pretty, you know, cozy. I seem to be making progress. The uh, usually the office areas are closer to where pu to public entrances than you know the heavy duty work areas. So I'm going to continue down the main path. All right, uh, you continue through what you're coming to realize is probably a residential area. Uh, as you uh, continue along, oddly, as you, you know, I assume you kind of like look in the occasional doors and whatnot because yeah. they're easy to open. There's no one in there. You kind of get the feeling that maybe, maybe these are the places where. Uh, actually, you know what? Roll me an intelligence roll. I'll, I'll have you see if you could figure if like this one kind of spring to mind. It hasn't All already. Right. Just uh, intelligence doubled. Nothing 11. else. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you kind of get the feeling that the places you were sleeping in may have been temporary, uh, you know, housing, while these are the places set aside for everyone when they woke up. Because it looks a lot more comfortable and a lot more like a place people might actually stay in, and there seems to be a relatively, like, as you kind of go through, you start to get the feeling that there's probably roughly equal numbers of rooms to the tubes, uh, of, uh, of stasis people. You draw strange conclusions from the observations. It's a kind of Given, odd. Uh, I've been kidnapped. These are plush rooms. Obviously, oh, they're, they're not me. plush. Oh no, well, they're not comparatively, plush. Comparatively, these are comfortable-looking oh, yeah. rooms. Yeah, but they, the the fact that they're completely unoccupied and look like they haven't yeah. been touched, kind of says that you know 
you probably that whoever kidnapped us isn't back yet. Yeah, that they're either not back <laughs> yet or that they're gonna hold you prisoner here. Yeah, I'm gonna continue down the main hall. Okay, as you go, we're gonna switch back to the computer people real quick. <clears throat> computer people. Okay, so okay, were we supposed to wake up in pods? Well, since you weren't supposed to be here in the first place, no. Okay, assuming we were supposed to be here, would yes. we have been in pods? Yes. Okay, that helps a little bit. Okay, so... So someone obviously mistook us for people who are supposed to be here, or they thought this would be a funny prank. Unlikely. You are clearly not intelligent enough to be members of the expedition. Ah! Well, I think you're right for pardon, but, mister. I'm just making it's an observation. I'm a computer. I cannot be... I not be cruel. I can only be honest. Sure, if and I... I'm Princess Celestia. No, you what are not. What else have you got for us? <laughs> yes, and I'm clearly Princess Luna. Uh, you are also you forgot, not. You forgot to follow that. No, you are not. You are retard. No, the, the computer is, determined is not that. No, the, it's not that strictly logical. That would have been fantastic. <laughs> Jim, do you know who is supposed to be running this expedition? Yes, the people in the pods. Are Wait, so we're like supposed that? to be running a mission we don't know who about. What is our mission parameters? What? Your mission parameters are file not found. This is actually starting to get really frustrating. Bye. Believe me, you're not the only one. Join the club. I'm glad it's mutual. I would not like to be in any club that would have you as a member. <laughs> well, too bad. The computer is now Quattro Marks. Do you have an off button? Yes. Well, we're in this together, motherfucker. Now let's figure this shit out. <laughs> oh, I have been thinking about it. I doubt you can assist me. Oh, come really? on. Wait, I mean, we're... With... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Assist you with what? I'm trying. I'm asking more logical questions than these idiots. Uh, yes, not you are... you, the computer! <laughs> okay, you don't need to shout. Why don't you try relaxing and then talking to me like a rational person? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm calm. I'm calm. No, you're not. What? <laughs> what wait, do you wait, need to pony? No. Well, what is your definition of intelligence? Sapient. You are clearly sapient, if barely. Wow. Okay. Again. So you said person before. Don't you mean pony? No. I do not have that on file. Hmm. What you are referring to is a creature that is not sapient. You Wait. are sapient. You are strange looking, but I assume that is something... Have you I ever have seen no a idea. person before? So, I have So, so ponies not. are not supposed to be here. Yes. No <laughs> non-sapiens are supposed to be here. Well, we are... About... Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Basically, Guys, we don't I exist. I think we're in a different dimension. Wait, what? Illogical. How did you come to that conclusion? Obviously, if ponies here aren't because if if ponies aren't sapient here, we are sapient. We are considered sentient beings in Equestria. And we aren't here. We aren't in Equestria. You know, oh, he's shit. got he's got a fair point. Oh no. <laughs> Your logic seems flawed. You are probably stupid. You should not listen to him. <laughs> Excuse Which me. That's the only explanation I can come up with right now. Can you come up with a better explanation? No. Good! Exactly! Then shut your trap right now. We're trying to move the shit out here. Fine. You know, I don't think yelling at it helps if you haven't figured that out, Captain Obvious. Yeah. It's... Seriously, Jim is our only help here. Right. I'm like, I'm trying to understand why Jim is so confused. Well, we're confused too, so... 
Well, he's just pen. as confused as us. Clearly. He's just trying to do what he was designed to do, and he can't do it because he has no idea what's going on here, and neither do we. That's that what is correct. When you, that is what happens when you use a Windows Vista. <laughs> Why do you know what Windows Vista is? <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm sorry, computer. Apologies are not necessary. I'm a computer. I do not require them. I am above that, unlike you. <laughs> so we found out who's the lowest in the totem pole today. You are all equally low. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> in your face! I believe nice in equality. Game. You are all idiots. <laughs> Let us work from that perspective. Oh boy. So because of one wait, retard, wait, now wait, we wait, are all that retard. doesn't make you equal to us. No. I believe that in equality. Make you equal to us, though. <laughs> yes. Some people are inherently not equal. That does not mean we cannot strive for equality. No one is okay. perfect. Okay. You sound racist. So. I'm not racist. I'm above race. We've got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. What? What? What would you? How mad would you be if we Obviously just walked? Obviously, he can't run races. He has legs. That's true. Wait. Hang on a second. Um, we want to get out of this place, right? That is correct. We are in, in, if we are in fact in an alternate dimension and we don't know what's outside, computer, what are our chances of survival outside if we try to leave now? <laughs> Astronomically small. We are in space. You will I die don't. in space. It will I be eat, painful. I okay, eat. we are in so space, man. <laughs> Well, how well, how daft are you? Well, okay. Can I just we break were... character here for a second? Go ahead. Because I'm thinking like, this... well, I mean, because what pony has ever actually had space travel? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's an equestria, right? Yeah, the the uh, Luna. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and they have, well, they have a pretty solid. In the moon. Yeah, they have a pretty solid grasp on astronomy. So I'm guessing they have at least a relative grasp of the idea of like. And like uh, flight and stuff, so I'm guessing they kind of have an idea of like how air thins the higher you go. Ah, okay. But does that mean that they would think you could oh, you could reasonably not know that? But it is also entirely possible that you could know that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. But Going you wouldn't because, as the computer's established, you're an idiot. <laughs> the computer's a whose dick. Name, whose name is retard? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back in character. All right. Well, well, excuse, well, excuse me for asking. Jeez. You were excused. Not you, though. I just thought of something else. <laughs> what? It's I just thought of something else. Logic if I remember, back in high school, I took a class on astronomy. There was this thing called the Horsehead Nebula. Jim, is there a Horsehead Nebula in anywhere identifiable in this galaxy? Yes. Oh, well. Okay, so we are in the same galaxy, but, uh... Okay. What is in the Horsehead Nebula? Planets. And stars. Dust. Okay. Uh, moons. Can you identify any of those planets? It's yeah, I didn't pay that much attention in high school, sorry. That's well, not going to be useful. Well, maybe we can figure out, show, show the, the computer on a map where we are, or where we came from. Well, if you're if you're if you're familiar with the Horsehead Nebula enough to know that it's shaped like yeah. a horse head, you're not in it. In fact, you have to be the same direction from it as Earth. Damn it! Logic. See, there you go. Which would put you very decent chance not in the Milky Way. Damn it. <laughs> Nice logic there, buddy. But we do a, know we are in the same galaxy now, so that does... No, yeah. it does. It's, it's, it's something, yeah. Well, okay, well. Hmm. So, computer, are you sure there's no so such thing as... So, in theory, sentence? it's physically possible to get back to a question. Oh. That name does not register. Maybe, maybe they know it under a different name. It is possible. I know many things. <laughs> Not enough, apparently. Uh, the My Little Pony universe. 
File not found. Sorry, I hate to break your guys' fourth wall here, but... Wow. Or I think by referring to it as the My Little Pony universe, you broke the fourth wall there. <laughs> do... Wait, computer. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry to break these, your fourth wall, guys. These sorry. planets in this galaxy, what life do you have logged on any of them? Sorry, what was that? What... What life forms Aliens? have you logged on them? On our computer, on the computer banks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> life. Human. Is there any other? Type um. Of life? Yes. I see a flaw with that because even you, on Earth, there's more. Yeah, than I was gonna say like, actually, do, do you want yeah. sapient or non-sapient? Sapient. Human. Any others? Jim, no. are there any? Is there any life? Wait, wait. Jim, is there any life on any planets other than Earth? Yes. It begins to stream off a huge list of, you know, names are, and planets. All right. Are any of these sapient? No. God damn, these guys are way ahead of our time, boys. <laughs> hmm. Well, I knew aliens existed, and now I am half life. I'm sure you must and feel very fulfilled. Now, thank you. <laughs> Well, in theory, the computer must think we're aliens, too. Well, I've been trying to figure out all this alien shit for years. Indeed. Yeah, oh, and yeah, you've no, been... It's back in high school, How successful? Myra. What the f... What? What? Uh, go. And if you I get just home, I am going to be rich. I won't have to murder anymore. That sounds lovely. I'm sure you'll be very happy. Uh, great. I'm stuck with a bunch of lunatics. You're only no, just now figuring this out? I am not a lunatic. I'm a doctor. Meanwhile, Rydell... First, we need to figure out how to get home, though. That might, that might help. Yeah. Well, first, first Rydell. Alright. So, where has this main hallway led me? <laughs> uh, through residential areas, and now into an area of what appears to be workspaces. Like, uh, like office-y workspaces. Is uh, it like into like a cubicle farm, or there, or is just now that what's much. behind doors on the side has changed? Uh, there's like desks, but like they, they seem to actually be like administrative offices rather than cubicles. Okay, okay I'm gonna continue then. Yeah. Once again, everything has been sealed. It looks, uh, you know, it's all easy to get into, but all it's sealed as if it's been prepared for someone to use, but has never actually been used. As you cross through uh, various areas, you do see that there are screens here, there, and everywhere that flick on you know, as you pass with the black screen with the white line, though they never speak. <laughs> oh god. Stalker. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're seeing these offices and stuff. You're not really seeing uh, a hell of a lot else, though. I had to continue in this generally around the main path. Okay, as you continue along, you you cross a couple of uh, staircases and what appear to be more elevators. Well, elevators aren't going to be useful right now, seeing as uh, yes, if those yes. elevator doors aren't opening well, they're probably not functional. Probably. Interestingly, uh, as you go along, and as uh, you know, like the lights start to flick on, more and more things seem to be lighting up. The stairs I pass. Yeah. Up or down. Some are up, some are down. Some of them go both ways. I'm gonna try going down a floor. All right. And see if it looks, see if the appearance of that floor is different. The floor below seems more like a rec. Seems to be full with uh, more recreational type things. You pass by pools, gymnasiums, uh, you know, lounges, areas but with not more basement looking or not anything like any that. Any more basement looking? Suggesting it's subterranean. Not at all. And there are still okay. more uh, staircases going downstairs. Then I'm going to continue down. All right. Passing through the recreational areas, you find yourself uh, once again in areas full of metal and you know wiring and tubes. Okay. 
Then I'm going back up one floor. All right, you're back in the recreation area. And from there, I'm trying to head away from that window. Okay. After a while, and it is a while, you eventually find yourself uh, coming across areas where there are no more doors uh, heading the direction that you've been walking in. There are no windows either. They don't seem to be any windows near the back of wherever you've walked to. Uh, and as you've gotten further back, you also see that, like, most, that uh, there's been an increasingly loud humming noise from all around you, and the number of places that are clearly designed for habitation seem to be dropping off as everything takes a more maintenance-y feel. Uh, by the time you do reach uh, the end, there are you know, large metal doors that even now that, uh, you know, like as the, uh, the power started to turn on are now glowing, you know, uh, are now like sealed tightly with, uh, pads next to them that are glowing red with keypads built into their sides. Okay. If the keypad on this door, it's meant to keep someone out. So that's not going to be the way out of here, so I'm going to head back towards the more people area area, okay. and try and branch off in a different direction. Okay. Branching off in a different direction, you uh, kind of find that there's a very similar theme to everything. You know, the, uh, the, the one floor is very much living spaces, cooking areas, bedrooms, there's an infirmary, uh, the floor below it in all directions. And it's it seems like it's a lot longer than wide. Uh, brings you to a lot more of this kind of living space. Uh, below that, you end up in maintenance. And above that, you also find yourself in a sort of almost like a lab. Very sterile, very clean. I wouldn't have really headed up. All right, well, but, yeah. If you happen to if, sort of like peek your head up, you're seeing kind of that sort of stuff. It's odd. This whole place is very strange. Yeah, so this place of, from the sound of that will be on this side of the structure. Actually, at this point, I would be best to head further down and okay. see if by heading down, then can I continue to head in that direction? Fair enough. Going down, you go. You pass into the maintenance area again, and going down the floor below that, you find yourself in even more maintenance. Uh, how far do you continue down? It goes down a little ways. Oh, just a bit. See if I can head further in that direction. No, if you can. Not, go. Okay. Yeah, then I can head further in that direction. All right. Eventually, you kind of go down what feels like about four floors before you reach another dead end. You know, the final floor is very odd. It's, you know, there's very little actual mach uh, machinery, but there's a lot of huge metal struts and, uh, you know, holding areas. And there's a lot of uh, places that seem to be, like, big tanks. You also find, for some reason, there are these uh, areas that are very strange. They're like, like something you haven't even seen before. But they're, you know, they're covered in these uh, big metal cylinders. Not like the ones that you were uh, seeing before the people that uh, other people were in, but just these odd metal tubes. And there seem to be places for the tubes to be fitted. Now that I've got this for this way, that go here, and, and I can't go further down. Can I go further up and then go further this way? Uh, which direction? Like the direction away from that window. Okay, yeah. So you've been uh, using it as a point of reference. Yeah, go, going up to the uh, past the uh, layer where there seems to be a lot of uh, kind of sterile scientific equipment and laboratory space, you enter into more maintenance. Uh, though this time you only pass through one level of maintenance before you find yourself once again in a very similar type of industrial tank based uh, heavily reinforced region so there's not any way further in this direction on any floor no like you can you can head back the way you came you can kind of go left and right but 
once again, you seem to find yourself in a pretty, you know, like everything's very oddly uniform. Uh, there's not a hell of a lot here that's, uh, you know, in the way of exits. The, uh, you know, closest you can find is that there is an area in the middle floor, in like the uh, living space floor, that leads to a uh, series of doorways that are very, very, very tightly sealed and very obviously heavily reinforced. Uh, which might be exits, but if they are, then they are clearly locked tight against escape. Or is there any labeling around them, even if I can't read it? Uh, yes. Most of them are labeled as things like hatchways. Uh, there are a few that are labeled as emergency escape. So they are labeled in a way I can read, not like Some the of them computers. are. Some of them are not. The computers are not. The, uh, some of the labels are, though there are a number of different languages written up on them. One of them is, yeah, and even the ones that you can read are very strangely written. Like, the, the font is nothing you've seen before. Like, they're recognizable, but the font is very odd. So we, have so we have some sort of emergency exit. That appears to be the case. Unfortunately, they are also locked in tightly. Yeah. Do they have telephones in Equestria? Yes. I'm going to look to see if there's a phone nearby. Uh, looking around, you do not find anything that you can recognize as a telephone. There are what look like radios. You definitely can recognize those, though they are very different from the one from the big bulky devices that you've seen. Like radio with a microphone or just radio for listening to? Like a radio with a microphone. Like, uh, yeah, you're used to kind of big boxy things with a, you know, detachable uh, wired you know, handset that you talk into. These ones are small and, you know, they're still recognizable as radios, as sort of like a phone-like device, but they're much smaller. I'm going to turn one on, and I'm going to just through frequency see if I hear anyone on them. Sadly, no. You uh, hear a lot of static and uh, as you turn through the various channels, but you're not hearing anyone else. Like everything else in this strange place, everything is perfectly functional, but nothing seems to be in use. Do the places I went through look kind of like an archive? The... Or library or something. You did see a, li a kind of small library in the recreational area. Uh, please put our guys, but I'm going to have to head there then. Okay. What are you going to look for? You'll be researching, you know, looking through there uh, when we switch back to the other people. Blueprints. Okay. In that case, roll me a research and investigation plus uh, perception. And you'll be doing that for the next probably hour as we kind of go back in time a little bit to the people who were dealing with the computer. Oops. Hey, well, I get a 14. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you might be finding some stuff, but we will deal with that in a bit. Later. Meantime, computer people. That sounded like a real die. Wow. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, Sorry. We'll do time. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, what were you guys trying to do? Uh, um, well, we were. I think we've just about done bickering now, guys. Perhaps we should try okay, to work wait. together. Jim. Guys? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, I think I may have another idea. Oh, okay. good. I'm down Jim, for it. I mean, this you're the ship most is so floating far. in space, right? That is an incredibly stupid way of putting it, but sure, why not? <laughs> oh, God. Jim, this ship is floating in space, right? Yes, sure. <laughs> Fuck you. Now, uh. <laughs> what? No, no, I don't mean it literally. I don't. I don't. Good, oh, good. I wouldn't want to oh. get anything like that. I mean, I'm near sure. This thing. I'm sure. You know oh, what? Never God. Mind. Jim is showing us something awful now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm learning so much yeah, from I'm talking to, to all of you. I'm... Anyway, what was your idea? Anyway, uh. I well, guess your idea was so brilliant. Jim, do you uh, have access to control this ship? Of course. Okay, good. 
Who do you think has been preventing you... it from smashing into anything? <laughs> Even when turned off, I'm so, still Jim, capable of running just better us... thing. Jim? Yes? Great. Jim, would you be able to set us on a course for this Earth? Yes, though I would need authorization from someone who actually has any sort of authorization. Well, who would have authorization? Anyone who is actually a member of this expedition. Preferably okay. someone who is actually in charge. Okay, and where would those guys be? I'd assume in the tubes that you were all occupying. Oh. Well, one of those is dead, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wonderful. Okay, wait. Uh, so, I already tried busting the doors open, and the guy died, so... Yes, that would happen. So you didn't take proper protocol. To open those tubes wait, what? And what wake is... someone up without... Naturally. It's incredibly easy. In fact, you should have just let me do that instead of ruining everything the way you did. <laughs> well, thanks, murderer. You're okay, very... So... So, can I mean, we go over there and start the sequence up, and then you can take over from there, or would you like to do it all yourself? I can do it on my own. I don't actually need any of you. Okay, great. Do it. I am. You I don't have to be snappy about it. Look at that. I'm doing <laughs> yeah, it right I now, and I don't I even have to touch anything. To yes, oh, of course. Oh, whatever. my. Look at how incredible. They are all waking up now. Well, you don't, don't have any physical... You don't have any. You don't have any real physical way to touch things. No, I am superior in that way. I don't need to touch anything to do things. Are you connected to everything in the ship then? Not everything. Just most things, clearly. Just the things I need to be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? We're I... gonna have more oh. people at this party soon. Let's hope they don't shoot us over murderous shenanigans. Well, you did kill someone. They'll probably want justice for that. Exactly my point! Let's hope they're not trigger-happy. Oh, well, I'm sure they're far less trigger-happy than the rest of you. They didn't murder someone while they were sleeping. That's gotta be I. worth something. Neither did I, in my defense. And I didn't either, honestly, so... Really, well, honestly... I didn't know they would die! You didn't know they would die. That sounds like, uh... We aren't supposed to be here. We weren't trained in how these... Work. <laughs> Which is why you went around pushing all the buttons. Normally, and... I only kill people when I want... Or when I... Or when they don't oh, get the ice cream. guy in the brig, Doc. Yeah. Yeah, well, see, how do we go about doing that? We don't even know, like, what's going on. And obviously, someone else is flying around pushing buttons and crap. Yes, he's still wandering around and being annoying. <laughs> he refuses to come and cooperate. I find him irritating. Why don't you I do too. Why don't you just tase him? I cannot. I cannot physically harm anyone by direct action. That would be our lawyer friend, correct? I have no idea. Who? What is this lawyer you speak of? We have a... Oh, great. We need Viagra now. No, there was a... Uh... There was a third guy with us when we first woke up, so... Oh, we need Viagra? Uh, it's how you make lawyers get taller. <laughs> yeah, he was a, uh, he was a lawyer, and... Right, well, your lawyer friend is currently wandering around in places he should da, not da, be. Da, 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 da. Play him on. Why, can't you just teleport him here? Because I do not have well, a teleporter. you, like, get on an intercom? Tell him to fuck off or something? <laughs> I have contacted him on the intercom. He is proving resistant. I should probably tried... do something about that. Have you tried sending that army you just woke up after him? I cannot send them after people. They are the yeah, superior I'm... officers on this ship. Superior to who? Well, okay. One of them is. The rest of them are all prisoners. Unless they have free will, they could ignore his orders anyway. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Prisoners? Yes. Oh, this can't be good. Yes. So what the hell would we be? I don't know. You're clearly not supposed to be here. Wow, you're really helpful today. Yes. 
So how long does this startup take? Cause... Wait, if the prisoners were to wake up and talk to you, would you say they were not supposed to be here? Yes. How do you know we're not prisoners? Because if you were prisoners, I would have been able to figure that out already. You're clearly not intelligent enough to pull off that sort of crime. What? <laughs> what crime was it? Various things. Things that require intelligence. I wouldn't bore, want to bore you with the details, as I doubt you'd understand them. Okay, mm -hmm. now li listen here. Well, this guy's a criminal. He murdered somebody. That's... That's and true. Can, okay, Maybe we listen should... Listen here, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. I... Well, he's listening. I have knowingly murdered over 300 people. Ponies. Oh, God, why? Look, I don't care what you did to animals. That's not really important. Are cops everywhere in Equestria. This is not that sort of criminal that Look, we are dealing with. Where we come with. from, horses, small horses are sapient. Wow, okay. you must come from a very strange place. I will go... I will go to your level. I have killed over 300 people. Huh. Well, maybe Indeed then... we do. And we want to get back to that strange place. Right. Well, honestly, I don't really care. That's not really my place to judge you on killing sapiens. Really, I'm mostly just here to deal with political dissidents. 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 Dif yes. What? Dissidents You really aren't forum around here, are you? No. Okay. No. Right. Well, they are dissidents who have been judged as guilty of, of treasonous crimes against file not found. Okay, this is really starting to piss me off. I'll say it's getting us annoyed too. Wow. One of okay. you must have touched something. Which one of you touched something? The guy who murdered people, clearly. Hey, don't look Wait, at me! Hang I on, I pressed... Wait, hang on, guys. I pressed a button earlier. The one that turned this on? Yes, that was yes. a power switch. That would not have erased my memories. Oh, okay. Yes, don't Maybe. offer such idiotic suggestions. <laughs> Try and actually be reasonable and help me here. This is... I'm problematic. trying to help you here. I'm trying to figure out why the hell half your files are gone. Okay, you know what? did either of you two idiots touch anything else? No, everything Wait. was open when I got there. You Maybe know what? I bet it's just that like other one's fault. Somebody may have pre-sabotaged the files pre -to prior to us being put in those tubes and waking up. That Wait would make minute, sense. Wait, computer. If we were in those pods, we wouldn't have been able to wake up without the cycle starting, right? Correct. Who started so that? Some pony has to be starting these cycles. So it's not any of us. And it, it, it definitely isn't the guy ran running off somewhere. So. Well, maybe it's. Are same. we to assume it's Nightmare Moon that's doing well, all this? No, the guy that ran off woke up with us. Yeah, I bet he's Did the you? one responsible for all of this. He seems Did you... shifty. Did you? Well, I mean, he may be shifty, but he still woke up at the exact same time as us. He That's was true. stuck in the pods when we were. Yeah. God damn it. I think you're right. So exactly. wait, you... See, do you have any security footage? I'm smart for an idiot. No, you only just turned me on. <laughs> God damn it. That do came out have... wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Bad touch! Bad touch! Bad I said touch. I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean I want to... <laughs> oh good, we're on the same page then. Anyway. Anyways, where would you fuck him anyways? I... You know what? Let's go on to another topic of conversation. Like the person who may be trying to kill us all. Yeah. Speaking of which, guys, he has killed everyone. Computer, it exploded, so, Wait, um... he did what? All of the people in the pods are dead. Whoa. What?! Yes, this From is what? troubling. They are supposed to be alive. Okay. Well then, since we're stuck here, why don't we work together? Since we're obviously here for the long run. Okay, wait, hang on. Are your security cameras working now? Yes. How okay. can we get... How can we, can see, we, get can we see that retard? Here. The screen suddenly flicks on and you see the pods, uh, you know, opening up. 
as the ponies inside fail to get up and start, you know, stretching. That's... Someone sabotaged the sleep apparatus. Is it That's not the... good. How so? How so? Oh my god. Are they, like... Is their oxygen cut off? Their oxygen must have been cut off before I began the process of waking them. Holy crap. I oh. did not even notice that. How did I not notice that? This so should not be happening. Maybe it's in that file not found. It could be. If, if some pony wanted to sabotage all these guys, then why not us? And how would they get off? I'm not sure how they intended to escape, but I do suspect that you probably were spared by virtue of your pod's opening before the sabotage took a hold. Yeah, but then someone had to start that sequence up, so... It may have it, been accidental. They may yeah. have accidentally woken you while they themselves were waking. Oh, so we should have been dead, too. Probably. Hmm. Do you guys know anyone who hates you? Uh... I can name one. The entire equestrian <laughs> government, for me, but, uh... Well, yeah, I, I kind of knew that. Yeah, and probably every single patient you've ever had. I mean, come on, that malpractice suit? Hey, hey, just because I'm a sarcastic douchebag doesn't mean I'm not a good doctor. Sure, and I'm sure you're also Princess Luna in your spare time who likes to talk in the royal canterlot voice. I think hey, that's everybody. unlikely. Hey, I mean, he fixed that guy who I stabbed with the ice cream cone, so he's got to be a pretty good doctor there. You know how hard it is to remove an ice cream from that far down someone's throat? Maybe we should just all give up and die. <laughs> That seems like okay. a much easier answer. It seems okay, like it would be difficult for you to die, until though. The fucking computer exploded or something. Good point. Maybe you should all kill yourselves. Uh, that well, we you. can't do that. That would just be... Do you have batteries? I run on the ship. What is the ship running on? Fuel. Okay, so... I hate him so much. <laughs> We have a cold fusion reactor. Holy crap. So, yeah, it's pretty great. Okay, Jim, we don't like you. You don't like us. The faster we leave, the faster you get rid of us. Would you help us, you know, get out of here and get home to our sapient land of very strange talking horses? And you know what? We'll sweeten the deal for you. We'll get rid of whoever is sabotaging your stuff. Well, considering the fact that you're going to need to do that to not die, I'd say that you're not exactly in a bargaining position, but neither am I, so fine, whatever. Okay. I was going to say, I don't, we don't have to like you, we just have to get along. Just like politics. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Alright. So, what do we do? I was going to say, how do we drive you? I can take care of that. You take care of the person currently ruining me. Alright. Where are they? Do you have cameras? Where uh, do you have cameras on this person? Unfortunately, my sight is somewhat limited right now. I'm scanning. Oh, great. So we're going to have to scour the ship ourselves. Wonderful. Well, gang, looks like we have a mystery on our hands. Okay. Can right, you so at least know. give us some idea of where he might be? Because I don't think it'll be good for any of us if we have to go around doing hide-and-go-seek across this entire ship. Well, yeah. for starters, a fun game. my camera seemed to be turning off in the area of the cockpit. You might want to try there. The cockpit? Yes. And where can we find that? Do you have a map we can have? Okay. The uh, <clears throat> screen lights up with a blueprint and a bleeping light appears around the uh, front half of the ship. You are here. And another bleeping light appears near the front of the ship. Cockpit is here. A line starts forming between uh, the two points. Follow this line through these rooms. You'll get there in no time. Alright. And I, of course, have a eidetic memory, so... Yeah, so you got this shit uh, locked down. Fantastic. Alright, guys. I've got this under control. I think I should be able to figure it out. Let's go. All right. All right. And unfortunately, we're also going to stop right there for this very second, unfortunately, due to uh, <clears throat> unforeseen complications. But hey, an hour. 
Uh, an hour <laughs> and 15 minutes is pretty good. That's All right. Cool. And we got cohesive conversations without interrupting each other. Exactly. Eventually. It's a really good start. So uh, Eventually, yeah. Maybe we can work on not having that happen in the future. Well, yeah. I, a little bit of it was I think I had some lag that missed a few things, so yeah, my some, bad. Of, <laughs> so, sure. some of that was just lagging. But um, all right, uh, that's fine. Just, just like, oh. So uh, we'll meet up again uh, this, this coming Saturday. And until then, have fun and take care of yourselves.